Hey guys, so Spelunky, am I right? Let's do it. Things have not been going well in the Spelunky Daily Challenge series. They just haven't. But that's okay. You know, we, we're, on a, we're on a losing streak. But uh, you have to have a losing streak before a winning streak. Man, I was warming up with no gold runs. Just realized that might have been a bad idea because I might just, like, walk around gold <laughs> because it's ingrained in my head now. I seriously, like, I just considered that uh, pile of gold that I hesitated to pick up to be a pile of spikes for a second before I was like, wait a minute. I'm allowed to have gold now. Let's go ahead and deal with that guy. Oh shit, I should have kept one of those pots though. Now I don't have anything to throw at arrow traps. Never mind, I have this fine man's skull. Again, I see a pile of gold, I'm just like, fuck dude. That is an instant kill, because that's really how it works in, uh, in no gold runs. Basically all that does is just change every little tiny modicum of gold in the game into an instant kill which is insane like I, I spent some time doing daily or uh, doing no gold runs this morning and there's so much crazy shit you don't think about like it's so hard to get shit from shops you don't want to like kill the shopkeeper because there will be gold everywhere you probably won't be able to pick up the items anyway after he's dead uh, because there's so much gold so like basically the only thing you can steal is a jetpack because you can just run out of the store and fly away and even then, you're seriously putting yourself at risk if you do that. And beyond that, you know, just like, say you're on a dark level, don't light any fucking uh, torches with your torch because that will fucking kill you. Uh, we're not going to kill this man. We're just going to take these things and be on our way because I don't want the added risk of angry shopkeepers. Drop down here, get that guy angry so that he triggers the arrow trap for me. Normal strats, no big deal, no big D. Okay, I have kind of a big D, but that's unrelated to the situation. Let's go ahead and continue onward here. <clears throat> so, doing pretty well so far actually. We have quite a bit of money, especially considering I just spent 5,000 on bombs. But you know, I don't I don't feel bad at all about losing five thousand bombs. Like even in the in the context of like trying to high score like score attack, get the best score in the world, five thousand gold is a pretty pretty tiny amount for the uh, the benefit we get of not having to deal with shopkeepers for these first few floors. You know, knowing my luck, we're gonna immediately go onto the next floor and see like forty thousand dollars worth of stuff we want to steal and just have to kill the shopkeeper anyway. But you know, it's it's worth it at least to not have the shopkeepers angry immediately anyway. And just in case, like, you know, if we if we can get to the jungle, get to the black market without killing shopkeepers being like a serious concern or necessity for us, that's a that's a big advantage in killing the black market. Because we can kind of set things off, we can go in quiet, we don't have to go in loud. Again, it's like a payday mission, we can just go in scope the area out, see what items there are that we want to go for first, if any. See if we can like buy anything to make things easier for ourselves first. And then we can start shooting. We don't have to just walk in and be ready for an uh, angry man with a shotgun to come out and greet us. Which is a lot better. My, my success rate in the black market is like near 100% I think if I don't go in with the, the shopkeepers already angry at me. We're going to come in here. Just kind of scope the area out, because I definitely want to come back in there if we can find a dog, which hopefully we will do. Definitely want to kill that spider for paste as well, so hopefully that'll work out for us. Oh, there's the chest. We haven't seen the key yet. Ooh, that was close to being awful. I didn't mean to go that far forward when I threw that bomb, but we're okay. Let's go ahead and see what's in there. Also grab the chest and look around for the Ujedi, obviously. And there's a man who I don't want to kill still, but I do want to obviously peruse his wares. How did that not kill the pot? And then I picked up the wrong thing. Anyway, um, so we do want the climbing gloves. We do want the compass. We do want the bombs. Ah, oh, fuck. And then I noticed this area behind him. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna climb back out of here. Then we'll just leave the chest down there. We can uh, we can come back for that later on. But Jesus Christ, what are we? Oh no. Okay, we gotta uh, do some platforming to get out of here. Almost out of ropes, that's a problem for us for sure. But we need to come over here. Bomb our way in this way. And... Then use another bomb to get the key. 
And a further two bombs to get Joby. Sounds crazy, but there's an altar on this floor is my, uh, my reasoning here. I think it's really important for us to get that sacrifice done, if at all possible. So we'll get Joby up there first. Then we'll come back, grab the key, and run like hell because the ghost is going to be coming pretty soon here. But what do we got? Pitcher's... Fuck. I shouldn't have even picked that up. But hey, it stops it from showing up later in the game, I guess. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, it stops us from getting it from a sacrifice later. But we wouldn't get it from a sacrifice later anyway because that was our sacrifice. So I should have just left that on the ground for sure anyway. But that's okay. Definitely want to be careful of the arrow trap that has not yet triggered here. And... We are on to the next floor just in time. That went okay. I'm not happy that we got a pitcher's mitt from all that, but I, you know, we're still one step closer to a Kapala. Which is okay for sure. And we still do have eight bombs. That's not awful. That's not, like, the worst bomb situation I've ever been in. With six health, I don't see it being worthwhile to use two bombs to get to the Jobster there, so we're gonna leave him be. Oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna kill this snake. Oh, no! I wanted to kill the snake with the the pitcher's mitt there, but got shot out of the air. That was some real weird physics, but I'll take it, I guess. Like, I feel like my whip should have gotten him anyway, but I kind of like teleported forward and jumped on his head instead. I mean, whatever whatever works, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Did take some dumb damage from that bat, but that's okay. Shit happens. Spiderweb and bat interaction is sometimes like the worst thing in the world. Oh, fuck me. He just landed on that dude's head and he was just like, nah. Nah. Oh, fuck. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. So like that. Kill those guys so we don't have to worry about them coming up here. This is the climbing gloves and everything could have been an issue trying to get through that situation. Trying to use the pitcher's mid effectively here to some success, I think, but it still feels real weird. Um, yeah, bomb for this chest, definitely worth it. I'm gonna put the bomb right here so we can get some gold out of it as well. Hopefully that big vein. Nope. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, well we got 100 gold out of it. Some good shit, for sure. Uh, there's a compass, we already had one of those. In case you weren't paying attention, so that sucks. But, uh, you know. Whatever, <laughs> basically. We'll, we'll deal with it. We'll work with it. Get out of here. Okay, good. Actually did land on that snake's head that time. So it took two stupid, stupid, stupid bits of damage on this floor, but that's okay. We're, we're still doing fine. We're still at four health. That's like why we pick up damsels. So that we can absorb hits like that and not be in a terrible situation. Why do we pick up damsels, Mr. Wayne? So we can get back up. Alright, so we're onto the jungle now, I believe. Yes, we are. And we have... Let's take inventory here. 25k and some mediocre upgrades, I would say. Nothing too fantastic. Pitch has been actually pretty nice uh, for this stage in the game if you don't have a shotgun, which is rare for me. Uh, there's hired help over there, so we don't want to go in there. No reason to. Oh man, I shouldn't have jumped on that. I was thinking, oh, I'll jump on this skeleton and test it for uh, life after death syndrome. But it was underwater, so I would have just gotten hit <laughs> if it was alive. So thankfully, that's not the case. Yep, as I said, just a hired help in there. You can tell by the fist on the sign if you didn't know that. Ah, uh, that was weird. I want to cling on here. And all oh, right, you can't look up while you're clinging with climbing gloves. So we'll just assume there's nothing to... Oh, actually, I can just climb up this way. Oh, fuck you, monkey. Fuck you. There we go. <clears throat> so, keep an eye out for the Ujet Eye, of course, as per usual. We could go to the worm level if we wanted to. I could also trade a bomb for a health. Because we can't get to Joby otherwise because of those spikes. Is that something I want to do? Yeah, you know what. We're right by the exit. And I'm only at four health. I could use some more. Please, sir. May I have some more? Alright. So here's this guy. What do we got going on over here? Nothing too much. Just gotta be careful of some enemy interactions there. Especially the uh, the boomerang man can be absolutely full of garbage, but you know, orange frogs have their own special place in my heart as well. It's just fucked up pieces of shit. 
But there's the boomerang. We'll use that for sure. <clears throat> Get a little bit of extra money as well, which does still matter in terms of gameplay. It's unusual for me to have to think that way, but we, you know, we could still easily buy items. Well, not easily. You know, we could still buy items rather than just steal them from shopkeepers and have to fight with our lives. Ah, uh, damn it. Come on. Oh my god. Let's do that. Uh, what do we got in here? Some bombs in a mystery box? You know what? I don't give a fuck about my high score right now, so we're gonna do that. But first, we gotta, like, get that thing angry. Fuck. Put a bomb right there. That's not gonna piss him off, right? No, it isn't. Perfect. I uh, don't know where my boomerang... Oh, fuck. It's like the worst place my boomerang could have gone. Now I want to kill this guy because there's an altar down there, but we'll, we'll get enough. So first you buy the mystery box. Just a good practice, really. Then we'll buy everything else. We're going to be very low on money, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's always real scary to do. Um... We have plenty of bombs where I feel comfortable just going in this way so we don't mess up and not get back there somehow or Joby dies or whatever. I'm just not going to risk not getting this Joby into that altar because we have enough bombs to play with here. So here's our Kapala. That's going to be real nice. And now that we have the Kapala, I feel comfortable coming back in here to grab my boomerang because we'll get blood back from any damage I take. And, uh, you know... We could have pretty much infinite health pretty soon, so wasting health is no longer like the end of the world. Take some blood there. Kill that guy for his blood. Oh, that was real close to being dumb, but we're fine. Uh, still no angry shopkeepers, which feels weird. I see the blinking, so we'll have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and grab some blood here. Bomb our way in there. It seems like the black market is very close to this crate. Hey, there it is. Oh, 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 fuck. Shh. Fucking climbing gloves. Sometimes climbing gloves. Alright, we'll grab these bombs, and uh, there's a idol up here, which we might as well take to the exit, because we're just right here. Oh, there's also this bat, which is basically just free blood at this point, so... Oh, man. <laughs> I fumbled that blood really hard. That's okay, though. So, put that in there. Oh, one of my boomerangs is up here. Well, I, I want one of these boomerangs, is what I was going to say. I put my boomerang with all the other boomerangs. Get it! <laughs> that fucking rock just wanted to be in my hand so bad. Been there. Been there, rock. Alright. So, here we go. We got the boomerang. Here's this man. I'm really glad that... I'm not in a situation where that man is just going to immediately, like, attack the shopkeeper for me, because that's always annoying when that happens. Okay. Oh, oh, no! Okay, that's not how I wanted to start this off. That's- Oh, no! I fucking- I wanted to grab the wall, and I didn't. Damn it. I, I can't wait to watch the replay back. I think I must have just fumbled the- or, like, not held the- what button would make me do that? I don't know, maybe I just wasn't high enough on the wall to grab the other wall, but I fell, basically. Fuck. Yeah, and obviously my score is going to be horrible there, because I spent a lot of money, uh, as opposed to saving it for score attacking, because I was actually trying to win the game. But, you know, I made it to 2-3 and died on the black market. People have been doing real poorly lately. Like, I haven't... Rockley Smile is the only one to reach the temple on that run. It's not just me. Like, I feel better looking at the scores here best score is on the same level as me we both died on the black market and uh very few people even reached the ice cave spyro the sheep being one of them oh well <sighs> god damn it <laughs> that was just silly too i just fell and i shouldn't have oh well thank you guys for watching another episode of the i almost said biny wise like head to head i don't even i'm tired splunky daily challenge is what we're doing today as every day, I guess. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I won't fuck up horribly and uh, continue just making myself hate myself, basically. See you guys next time.